guys welcome back to packet drift in this video we'll see how to configure the bgp on juniper and the cisco device and we'll see what are the command line difference between them so let's get started so guys let's see with our previous topology that we are using our, in our previous video in juniper versus cisco command line series so here the Juniper and the Cisco router is connected back to back with 100.1.1.0 slash 30 subnet where dot one is configured on uh, Juniper interface G0 slash 0 slash 0 and uh, dot two is configured on Cisco interface E Ethernet 0 slash 0. So let's configure eBGP and iBGP between Juniper and the Cisco router and let's see what are the command line difference. Uh, let's start with the CLI. Uh, let's first configure the eBGP. Uh, so let's configure first on the Cisco router and let's see what are the command to configure the BGP. To configure BGP, you have to go inside the configuration terminal and then you have to define the uh, router BGP process with its autonomous number, system number. So AS number, let's keep it with uh, as uh, 200. Now you have to define, as you can see, you moved inside that BGP process router BGP 200 and then you uh, you you have entered inside the config router that is uh, under the BGP process. Under the BGP process, you have to define the neighbor with which you have to uh, make the peer uh, neighborship. So here we have to make the neighborship between 100.1.1.2 and dot .1. So from Cisco's perspective, it would be dot one. So let's keep the IPS dot under dot one dot one dot one dot two, and then the remote AS you have to configure. So what is the remote AS? So remote AS would be the Juniper routers uh, autonomous system number. From Cisco perspective, what is the remote AS of the Juniper? So let's keep uh, as it we are configuring the eBGP. Let's keep the Juniper router AS as a three hundred can configure the local system as a neighbor oh, okay okay uh, we can figure dot one we have to configure dot one which is the juniper's interface ip address um, we can we have uh, let's configure it 300 so this is what the configuration is we can verify the configuration and uh, show run section bgp so this is the basic very minimal configuration for the bgp without any modification to control the BGP parameters or anything like that. Now on Cisco or uh, Juniper router to configure the BGP, you have to go inside the configuration and then edit protocol because we are configuring the protocol BGP. So this is the routing protocol. And for that, we have to go inside to edit protocols. There you have to do set BGP and then group. So everything related to peering or neighborship, we have to define the group and then under that group, we have to configure the parameters for the peer. This is the basic rule in the Juniper. We cannot configure the Juniper router without uh, any groups. So we have to define the group. Uh, let's keep the group name here uh, to Cisco BGP. And then let's define the parameter uh, for eBGP. So to for that, uh, let's define the local AS first. Local AS, local AS 300 as we define it on a Cisco router here. Then define the neighbor on the Juniper router. So the neighbor would be neighbor would be 100.1.1.2, which is the Cisco router. So I want to make the peering with the Cisco router. So it's IP 1.1.2. Two, and then the remote AS, sorry, private peer AS. Peer AS is nothing but the Cisco's uh, autonomous system number. So there we have configured 200 on the Cisco router. So here the peer AS would be 200. Let's check what we configured. Show pipe compare. So this is what we configured for the peering uh, for, with Cisco router on BGP uh, for on Juniper. So commit it. Now we'll see BGP show configuration protocol. Let's place that. 
this is what we can figure now as you can see the bgp has come up on this juniper uh, sorry cisco router we can also verify it show bgp neighbor external state is established there is one more command show bgp summary here you can see this is the external bgp and the type is established so bgp is show ip bgp on cisco router show ip bgp summary as you can see here the uptime is shown here so this is uh, up now so this is how we configure the ebgp now let's configure the ibgp from scratch to do, do that let me remove the configuration of uh, bgp on cisco and juniper router go to configuration mode terminal no router bgp bgp and 200 so i removed the configuration from cisco router will configure the ibgp from scratch and here the same delete protocol bgp commit on the juniper router now let's configure the ibgp to configure ibgp we'll assume that both the router will be having inside the inside the as number let's keep it as a hundred so we'll configure juniper uh, in 100 and the cisco in 100 as number uh, the ibgp let's go inside the Jun uh, sorry cisco router first and then configure the bgp configuration parameters so there is no change in the cisco router configuration for configuration of the ibgp so this is the same way as we configured ebgp so go to configuration and then define the bgp process so here we'll be keeping the 100 as a juniper uh, sorry as an internal close uh, as number on both juniper and this is core router so define this is uh, uh, the router bgp process on uh, cisco router so 100 we are defining as autonomous system number now after defining it same way as we defined for ebgp define the neighbor for ibgp 100.1.1.1.1 that is the juniper router interface ip address and then define the remote AS. Remote AS would be the same as the Cisco's local AS, uh, which is the 100 as this is, this is the IBGP. So this is it, nothing else you have to configure. This is the very basic configuration that I am showing here. And uh, like I'm not showing very different configuration where we can, you know, tune the configuration based on our requirement for advanced uh, functionality in the BGP so show configuration section bgp this is what we configured local bgp 100 and the remote pras as 100 now on juniper router this is the same way but uh, the trick here is you have to define the local as number inside the set routing options and the autonomous system autonomous system number so here we can define the local as number on the router uh, earlier in the ebgp configuration we defined inside the bgp protocol bgp configuration but here uh, we have to define inside the routing options so routing options uh, go inside the edit routing option or you can go like edit routing options and then set autonomous system so here the autonomous system will be the 100 which is the same as the cisco router as we are configuring the ibgp and then now define the neighborship parameter inside the protocol bgp protocol set protocol bgp or we can also go inside the edit protocol bgp and then define the group set group or also we can uh, we can uh, we can do some configuration without the group but there you won't find any neighbor command there define the neighborship so as a best practice we have to go and inside the group to define the neighbor so group set group let's keep the name as to cisco and let's keep it ibgp now prs you can define the prs here as well or you can define the prs on after neighbor configuration so neighbor configuration 100.1.1.1.2 which is the cisco router interface ip address so we are configuring the neighborship from juniper's perspective so the cisco is its neighbor so its ip is 100.1.1.2 and then prs prs would be the 100 
which is the local layers of this square router and here one more thing in juniper router you have to define the type if you are configuring the ibgp then you have to define the type internal if you are configuring the ebgp then you have to define the type external but that is the optional thing even without the configuration uh, set group you will see the type internal here let me show you set group inside the group and type so there are two type external and internal by default if you are not defining anything it will take as an internal uh, external and it, it, that is depend on your local as number and the remote as number as well that you configured local as number you configured inside the routing option so let's configure it type uh, sorry internal as it is the ibgp then show pipe compare so whatever we configure inside the protocol bgp we we are seeing this here we configure the group and then type internal neighbor we can defined 1.2 which is a cisco router ip address and the prs which is a cisco autonomous system number now top will take show pipe compare the overall configuration that we defined here so edit routing option system under local as number that we defined now comment this configuration and then check the bgp configuration show configuration protocol bgp display set this is what we configured now check the bgp status to bgp summary it is inside the active now oh, it has came up show bgp bgp neighbor as you can see this is the internal bgp and the state is established and other parameters which was negotiated between the two routers while uh, bringing up the PRE. So one more command show BGP summary. It will show the status. So here the, since 23 second show BGP summary. Show IP BGP summary on the Cisco router. Show BGP summary. 34 second it is up. Since last 34 second it is up. So this is how you configure the eBGP and the iBGP inside the juniper and the cisco router thanks for watching this video please do like comment and subscribe the packet for more such learning thank you